Before we get into this video guys, if you are looking for some high quality controllers and controller accessories, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Cinch Gaming and use Rich at checkout for a nice little discount. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Well today, it's actually kind of in the middle of the night for me. It's 3 a.m. right now, but I want to get this video out to you as soon as you guys. I know in UK it's probably 8 a.m. You guys are just waking up. This card was just released not too long ago um, for uh, Bakambu scoring um, two goals against, I think it was Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League uh, with Villarreal game and the 2 nothing win in Europa League. Um, so that is why he has his beautiful orange man of the match card, guys. Cedric uh, Bakambu from the Congo and plays for the uh, Villarreal in the Liga BBVA. As you guys can see there, 4-3-3, 4 3 4th uh, four, variation formation, guys, with his uh, brother and nation Belasi next to him with a little bit of a hybrid of a BPL and a Liga BBVA squad guys uh, Bakambu really guys is all about pace and he has a great weak foot and not uh, he's not too bad at scoring some goals I'll, I'll let you guys know that um, but yeah guys so if I am talking a little bit quiet I apologize but uh, it is kind of late and I'm trying to get this review out to you as soon as possible without further ado guys let's go take a look at his face card stats 87 pace 81 shot 73 passing, 82 dribbling, 36 defense, and 78 physical. Now, guys, he has a four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, and that high medium work rate. And it does say there, guys, that I scored eight goals in six games. Well, I also did have an assist, but EA servers have been kind of messed up at my house lately. So that assist isn't on there, but the eight goals are. So I did have eight goals and an assist in six games. Not too bad of stats, guys, for this card. Now, he's only an 80 overall. Really, guys, he plays way better than Navy. 80 overall, and uh, he's just fast. He runs past everyone, and he's got a pretty nice finishing touch on him. Um, so, but without further ado, guys, let's get into his in-game stats, and then we'll show the highlights and the pros and cons right after that. Cedric Bakambu's in-game stats, guys, 85 acceleration, 90 agility, 80 jumping, 87 sprint speed, and 83 stamina. He also has 82 ball control, 82 dribbling, 81 finishing, 81 penalties, and 85 shot power. Now he also has a 4-star weak foot, guys, 3-star skill moves, and that high and medium work rate. And unfortunately, he doesn't have any specialities or traits, but this is a nice pacey card, guys. He's got a nice shot on him, a good weak foot. Uh, he's just a pretty balanced player, and he's definitely fun to play with. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and take a look at some highlights and get right into Man of the Match Cedric Bakambu's pros and cons. My first pro for this card, guys, is his pace. With an 87 pace rating on his face card stat, as well as an 85 acceleration rating and 90 agility rating. This guy can absolutely fly in this game and honestly feels like a 90 uh, pace type guy for me. Bakambu definitely relies on his pace, as do his teammates, to create play and get in a decent amount of shots on goal. My second pro for Bakambu's card, guys, is his weak foot. Now, he does have a four-star weak foot, guys, and I had no problem going to his weak foot. And honestly, I did score a decent amount of goals with that left foot of his. There's no better feeling than knowing you can go to either side and your player will convert. Uh, it also throws in the factor of the defense not being able to really guess where you're going. Like, for instance, with Robin, everyone knows he's going to try to get back on his left foot. Well, the combo guys does not have that problem, and I love it. My third pro for this card is his finishing. Shooting, whatever you guys prefer. Bakambu scored an impressive eight goals in six games for me. And to be quite honest, I was a bit surprised he performed to the standard that he did. I mean, he scored some quality goals, and this guy could uh, definitely has a decent shot on him. He could easily fit into a striker role in a Liga BVA team with studs around him. Now, I actually have two cons for Bakambu, guys. His first one is his passing, with only a 73 rating on his passing, uh, his face card uh, passing stat for me. Uh, Bakambu at times struggled to pass and complete give and goes, guys. This is why, for me, he is actually good in a one striker formation like I played him in. Uh, he's kind of like that target man that can use his pace to get in behind the defense. Now, my second con, guys, is one that didn't quite show up as much as the first one, yet yeah, I still noticed, and it was his dribbling. Now, he actually has a decent dribbling stats, uh, but for me, guys, uh, I just wasn't a fan, and sometimes I even struggle to get around the defenders. Um, like I said earlier, uh, Bakambu is kind of a guy where you have to kick it ahead and get into get behind the defense, run after it. Um, still, overall, guys, a very well-rounded card. Um, but this is now going to take me into the overall summary of Man of the Match Bakambu, guys, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves a nice 8.3 out of 10. A pacey striker with the ability to score on either foot. Um, he is definitely a guy that when his price drops a bit more, i definitely consider giving a go. His pros and cons are listed as well as the goals and assists I had in the games played. 
Uh, later today, guys, I would like to release uh, my top five center backs video and maybe even get around to starting the knockout stage of the UCL giveaway. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep. Um, but as always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. Hit that like button, guys, for me getting out this video and grinding it out at 3.30 in the morning. I'm definitely tired. I'm going to get some sleep. But I appreciate you guys checking out this review. I mean, until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.